designing the car rim part two. So we have this rim now, that's the start. And the first thing we're gonna do is on the back side here, we're going to create a sketch. And the point of this is to put an axle hole in. So we got the sketch, we're simply gonna draw a circle, pick the center point, and we're gonna type in one eighth. Okay, so one eighth. And there's our diameter, that's important. Okay, click finish sketch. Now you can see here, Okay, that as soon as I go to, we're going to rename this. Okay, so I'm going to right mouse click, go rename, and I'm going to call this axle hole. So it's easier to find later on in our, our model tree. Okay, and then I'm going to go to extrude, so I'll click somewhere else, and I'm going to click extrude, and take that hole, and we're going to go in 0 0.4 of an inch. So I'm just going to drag it to 0 0.4 of an inch. All right, so there we go. And now we have ourselves our axle hole. We can always adjust this later. All we do is we come back to the scat, right? sketch go edit sketch up top here and we can say no 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 we really wanted it a different dimension all right same thing anything else we can all of a sudden rename or resize something okay so i'm going to go to the front side now and we're going to start on doing our uh, spokes in here so create a sketch grab the front and the first thing i'm going to do is put a circle in here and this circle is just there to remind us of certain things Okay, so I'm going to say that this circle is 0.9. Okay, and what that, that does is it gets just a number. We can always change it, right? I can take this and put it wherever I want. Okay, I'm going to grab a circle now. Actually, first off, I'm going to grab a line. And this whole line will be understood later on. And I'm just going to draw a line. Doesn't matter, just draw it straight up almost to the top there. Now I can grab a circle. And I'm going to put a 0.2 circle here. And again, you can just follow along with doing these exact numbers. You can change them later. Okay, and I'm going to do a point 0.1 circle there. So those are two circles. It's important to dimension them. So I'm going to go D for dimension if you don't have dimensioning on your screen here. Also create, come down to sketch dimension there. And we're going to dimension from there to there. And now you can't see it, right? If I pull way out here, it's there. So I'm just going to turn the body off mid part of this. And now I can put the dimension there. Okay, and then the other dimension, I'm already in dimension, but I'll click it again. And it's from there back to here as well. Okay, and now it says create driven dimension. So you're right, I don't need to do, driven dimension means I've already dimensioned it. So where did I dimension it? Oh, I dimensioned it here. Because if I put now 0.95 and I hit enter, you can see that it moves right away. All right, now we're going to stop here. And mid, actually no, we're going to finish the sketch. Okay, and you're going to go, okay, that was kind of weird. Right, we're going to rename the sketch. Whoops, I got into that. I just close it. I'm going to rename the sketch, and we're going to call this one uh, spokes. Okay, and at this point in time, we're going to save it. Okay, so I'm just going to save it. I'm going to call it, and I have a folder here. When I click down, I have one called Power Mechanics, and I'm going to call this one Rim for. What do you want to call it for? Rim for car. Good enough. Okay, and you can't see it on my screen. I'll move up and I'll hit save. Okay, and we're going to stop and then come back to the next tutorial.